as it says here, Hulu is licensing titles on Film Hub. Please note that Hulu is extremely selective in the titles they are taking. They review titles based on known. Hey everybody, Alan Northern here giving you filmmaking tips and tricks and today we're going to go over what streaming platforms you can get your film onto using Film Hub. Now, Film Hub has so many channels that you could potentially get your film on, but there are a few drawbacks with Film Hub and uh, we're gonna talk about it. Now, I was reached out to by the associates at Film Hub when Distributor went under. So Distributor was, you know, this self-distributing platform where you could essentially choose which platforms you put your film on and you could choose Apple TV, you could choose Vudu, but the company went out of business. And when the company went out of business, I was screwed because all of the money that distributor collected from my film, which was at the time, it was just opening, so it made about 500 bucks in the first two weeks and I was really, really pushing and really promoting it. And uh, it was also on Amazon Prime uh, with Distributor as well. So I was really excited, but the thing is, the company went out of business. And when they went out of business, they took all of the money that my film made with them. When Film Hub reached out to me, I wasn't very, let's say, uh, open to talking about sharing my film because I was like really, really pissed off and really upset even when they reached out to me, which was about maybe two or three months after I got burned or after they, you know, went bankrupt and took all my money. But it's not just me. There was this whole forum that Indie Film Hustle had. Thousands of filmmakers were voicing their frustrations about what Distributor did to them. So following that whole scandal, I was very skeptical of anybody who reached out to me about my film because I didn't want to get burned again. But after a few moments and after researching and talking to a few folks and doing some digging myself, I was just like, okay, what's the worst that can happen, right? I already lost 500 bucks and I'm trying to recoup some value and I just wanted my film to be out on as many streaming platforms as possible. And it seemed like Film Hub had a good reputation, so I'm like, okay, let's give it a try. So the first big hurdle with Film Hub is that you've got to upload posters, you've got to upload captions, you've got to upload synopsis and log line and you've got to export your film in a super high quality codec that meets film hub specifications but after using film hub for a few years now i can vouch for them as a platform that's actually worthy of giving a chance so how the financial model for film hub works is that they take 20 percent of the profits and you take 80 percent and so unlike distributor where you had to pay an upfront cost of a thousand dollars so that was just to get your foot in the door and then you had to pay about 250 dollars per platform so if you wanted your film on apple tv and amazon prime you'd have to pay a 500 extra bucks so i was fifteen hundred dollars in the hole the film made five hundred dollars but it went under, I lost all my money, but it's okay. Neither here nor there. But by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what streaming platforms you could expect your film to get on, because you could base your expectations based off of what my film looks like and the assets that I'll show you later in the video. And since there are so many channels on Film Hub that you could potentially get your film on, we're not gonna go over all of them, but we will highlight a few of the most popular. If you're ready and you've already got a little bit of value based off of my little rant. Give this video a like and let's get started. So as of July 21st, Hulu was added to Film Hub. And so how it works is it's very different from their normal model. As it says here, Hulu is licensing titles on Film Hub. Please note that Hulu is extremely selective in the titles they are taking. They review titles based on known actors and high production value. Generally, they are only interested in first run titles but will also evaluate older titles as well. If Hulu is interested in one of your titles, Film Hub will touch base with you as these are longer term upfront deals and are not based on revenue share. So this channel already kind of breaks the mold of what Film Hub is known for because typically for Film Hub, you're paid based off of the advertisers, right? So if someone watches your film on Tubi, for instance, then you're going to be paid based off of a percentage of the ad share for what the customer watched while they were watching your film. Very similar to YouTube. 
But with Hulu, however, you're gonna get an upfront deal and not a normal percentage of revenue based off of the ads that was delivered on that particular channel. So if you wanna get on Hulu, have name actors in your film, have a high production value. According to Film Hub, it helps if it's first run, which basically means that it shouldn't be available for public consumption anywhere else, just on Hulu. You should certainly upload a pitch deck to your list of assets once you upload it to Film Hub to have the best chance with Hulu. All right, so that's Hulu. Now we're gonna cover Peacock. Peacock is NBC's streaming channel operated throughout the world. It is watched by over 13 million subscribers, primarily in the US, but growing internationally. So that's really cool because Peacock is really rising in popularity. It's getting more popular as the days go by. They're coming out with more original content. So Peacock is great. Now this is fairly recent. So as of April 2022, uh, Film Hub expands distribution reach to Redbox. So Film Hub has also signed a distribution deal with Apple TV, and this is as of March 2022. I know we're all away in 2023, but this is still fairly recent, still fairly new uh, on Film Hub. So they are super excited with the new deal with Apple TV expanding opportunities to their filmmakers. If they're selected by Apple TV, your film fans will be able to buy or rent your film in any device that has Apple TV. So I want to touch on where my title is right now. So my film is called The Brotherhood. I don't know if you've seen it, here it's pretty good. My film is currently on 24 channels right now. Every few months a new channel will pop up and you can see if you wanna keep it on the platform. So the thing that's important with Film Hub is that unfortunately, and this is the disclaimer that I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, uh, the drawback is that you can't decide where your film goes. It's going to be up to the actual channel to decide if they want your content or not. So Amazon Prime and Hulu and Tubi TV and Hoopla, all those different channels, it's up to them to decide whether or not they want your content on their platform. And they decide based off of looking at all of the assets that you provided to them. They decide based off of looking at your log line, based off of looking at your trailer and your poster and, and the overall production quality of your film. So I'd say the biggest two streaming platforms I was able to get the Brotherhood on based off of my assets that I provided is Tubi TV and Amazon Prime. Uh, you guys may have heard of Zumo. You guys may have heard of Hoopla. You guys may have heard of the Roku channel or Popsy on Plex. But one thing that you'll realize is that the vast majority of your income on Film Hub will only come from a few channels. So the majority of my income on Film Hub comes from Tubi TV like 80% of it comes from Tubi TV. About 15% comes from Amazon Prime, and the rest of the percentage comes from all of these other streaming platforms that are up. If I had to do a rough revenue distribution model, right? I removed it from Stash TV on YouTube because this is basically a YouTube channel. This is something to be weary of because, I mean, I don't want my film on a YouTube channel yet. If I was gonna put it on a YouTube channel, I'd put it on my YouTube channel, which I will be putting it on my YouTube channel really soon in episodes. But I'm not gonna have someone else just post my whole film on a YouTube channel. I think that that's like very stupid. I'm like, I could put it on my YouTube channel. And at the time I had just as many subscribers as Stash TV. And that's why I removed it from that platform. You always have the power to remove your content from their platforms, which is pretty cool. So you always have a say. And something that really plagues the indie filmmaker is that, of course, there is no advertising that could be done for your film, right? There's no PR agency that's going to do the big PR push for you, so you have to be in charge of the PR push for your indie short or indie feature. The PR pushes up to you. So for instance, if you wanna take a look at The Brotherhood, take a look at it, it's on Hoopla, Tubi TV, it's on Amazon Prime, Plex, and a bunch of those streaming platforms. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. But if you guys wanted me to go into a deep dive of how to actually upload all of your content assets into Film Hub so that you can potentially get your film onto Tubi TV, or Hoopla, or Plex, or even potentially Hulu. Then take a look at this video right here. It's called How to Make Money from Tubi. And it's just a broad overview of how I got my film onto Film Hub. And it goes over the long, extensive process of me uploading all of my different assets to Film Hub. So briefly, I can go over my, my assets. This is my trailer, you know. 
right here. Boom, boom. There we go. So there's that. And here's my poster, poster two, poster three, poster four, poster five. So I go over all of that in this video right here. So if you want to take a look at that, take a look at that. Consider grabbing a clover key. It's a camera plate, screwdriver, and a bottle opener. Just an overall very useful tool when you're on set. If you have any questions or concerns, definitely leave a comment below. And it's always a pleasure talking to you guys. Until next time. Peace.